Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove chromatic aberrations or fringing as it's most commonly known. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, like this video if you found it helpful and if you have any suggestions for a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Depending on the quality of your lens, um, depends how much fringing or chromatic aberrations you're going to have and how strong it will be. Normally when you have a bit more of a pricier lens, you will have like a minimal chromatic aberration. So um, yeah, with like the lower end lenses for like DSLRs, the kit lenses like the 18 to 55 mil for Canons um, and that, that sort of stuff like cheaper lenses will have this issue. But um, the more expensive lenses will still have a bit of um, this issue, but not as bad as the cheaper lenses. So you can fix this in two different ways inside of DaVinci Resolve. Um, one of them is exclusive to DaVinci Resolve and the other one is something you can do inside of any editor. So as you can see with um, the chromatic aberrations, it only really happens from um, brightness to contrast. So you've got the bright blue sky in the background, then you've got this dark shadowy statue pretty simple let's just uh, bring this clip into the timeline so we've added the clip in the timeline and now we want to go down to the color tab let's go to the color at the top go into nodes and go down to add splitter combiner node or you can click alt y for that so what this will do is it will split the um, video into the three separate color channels the red green and blue channel this method is a little bit tedious and sometimes it doesn't work depending on how much chromatic aberration there is so what you can do is you can minimize it so you can do it this way so we'll go down to the blue channel you want to make sure you're in the uh, sizing tab so you might be in the qualifier or the tracker by default so you want to make sure you're in sizing you want to make sure go to the drop down menu here um, and go down to node sizing so what we want to do is we just want to go to the zoom. We just want to minimize it. So you can see it's already minimized the blue. It's minimized it heaps, so it's not super noticeable. You can actually just do it that way. Um, so if you've had, if you have like red chromatic aberration, like really strong, you want to go into the red channel and shift that over in the zoom. Or if you've got it in the blue, you want to move the blue channel over. So, I'm actually pretty happy with this result. So this is before and this is after. So you can see that there is a pretty big difference. I'm actually happy with this result. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. I'm gonna bring in the next clip. And this has some horrible, horrible chromatic aberration, as you can see here. So the uh, middle of the image is fine. But once you start going to the sides, you, you can see some um, pretty bad chromatic aberrations and fringing. So we can minimize this. Um, I'm going to be doing it two different ways. So I'm just going to bring this clip in to the timeline. I'm going to go into color and I'm going to do pretty much the exact same thing. So um, I'm going to add the add splitter combiner node. I'm going to go into the red channel and try to minimize the red a little bit so make sure you're node sizing go to zoom gonna shift this over to about here then I'm gonna go down to the blue channel and I'm gonna try to shift this over we've minimized it but um it's still there so I want to try to completely remove the fringing so as you can see we've got the blue sky in the background it's slightly overexposed and then you've got the leaves of the tree in the shadows so it's going to cause pretty big chromatic aberration depending on your lens so I'm going to go back into the edit tab and this is where you can apply this this method into any editor of your choice so I'm just going to go and control C control V go to the top here um, I'm going to go to my effects library I'm going to go to open effects and put a Gaussian blur on top so what you want to do is you want to try to 
look at the edges and see where when you go into the inspector tab let me just open up the effects so I'm gonna bring this all the way down so I want to get it to the point where I cannot see any colored fringing on the leaves to the point where it's lost all of its color so I think it's about here so um, let's go back to the video and depending on your editor this will be either composite mode or blend mode so you want to go into color and just apply that it's removed most of it um, but we can adjust it a bit further. Unfortunately, you do get a bit of a color shift, but since there's a blue sky, um, you're going to get a little bit of hazing. Uh, there's not too much you can do, but um, let's, let's just have a look at the before and after um, on your clip. But if you're not too worried about a color shift um, and you just want to get rid of those really distracting fringing lines this is another way to do it so I'm just gonna bring in you know what I'm gonna bring in this clip again just gonna bring it in and I'm not going to add the splitter combiner node I'm just going to control C control V put it on top and I'm going to add the Gaussian blur again So you want to make sure that blue line is gone. So I'm going to say about here. I'm going to go back into video and go into color. And it's it's removed it. It's um, you do get a little bit of a color shift, almost like a light wrap, but um, it helps blends in the chromatic aberration. So this is the first one that we did. So this is pretty much how you can remove chromatic aberrations in editing inside of DaVinci Resolve and in any sort of editor. Um, I do find that the technique inside of the color works best, but sometimes it doesn't always work just doing the um, shifting. You can minimize it. Again, with a little bit of chromatic aberrations, it's fine. It's just when it's really noticeable and ugly, like this blue here. So this technique works best but um if it doesn't work too well like in this one where let me just minimize it you know you can still see a bit of fringing in this one but um it's not too bad we've minimized it you know you can still use it so yeah before and after it's kind of blended that harsh blue line in a bit and yeah so that's how you can remove some uh, chromatic aberrations inside of your editor I do recommend doing it inside of DaVinci Resolve. It is a free editor, so you know why not just download it and give it a go. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. And I do have social media links. They will be in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.